Hello everyone, and welcome back to Video Pop Vlogger's channel. In the past year since the channel was created, we have shared a lot of interesting video production tips and have also got a variety of responses from you guys. Thus, here in this video, we have put together the top 5 tips that you like the most. And please comment down below which one is your favorite. Without further ado, let's get the video started. To create a fly-through text effect, first, we need to create a text. And it is better to choose a thicker font. Remove the shadow. Then, click on the screenshot. Re-import the screenshot into VidiPovLogger. Next, let's apply a motion to this image. Add a zoom-in preset. Then, adjust the position of the second keyframe. Change a spec ratio to 16 to line. Then adjust the box. Zoom in until the preview window on the right is filled with white. After we return to the main interface, let's import a background video to the video track. Also apply a motion effect to it to give it a zooming effect as well. Next, we change the blend mode of the text laser to darken. This completes our fly-through text effect. If you want to watch a more detailed tutorial, click on the link in the upper right to check them out. The creation of the moving color change is quite simple. First of all, we need to shoot a clip of a person walking around like this. Then, import it into Vidipop Vlogger. Find the point where the character walks to the middle of the screen. Click Split to cut a clip from here. Next, click on the first clip and click on Color. Set a saturation to zero. Or use Molo filter, turn the image to black and white. Then go to the transition. Use Move Left or Move Right based on which direction the character is heading to. Finally, adjust the duration of the transition. Then, you can get this effect. For more details on this one, check the link in the upper right to watch your full video. Before creating this effect, first, we need a green screen clip like this. Import a green screen and a background footage together into Vidipop Vlogger. Put a background video into the video track. Put a green screen into the overlay track. Then use chroma key to remove the green screen. Next, we need to add a black border to the background material. And we have two ways to do that. One is to use a crop to directly crop the top and the bottom of the screen. The other is to use motion to create a black border from the sides. For more details on this one, check the link in the upper right to watch your full video. To create this flying over the earth effect, we need to use Google Earth and the video recording software. First, open Google Earth. Find a point where you want to do the fly over on the map. Then, start recording. Click on the earth in the bottom right corner. And the view will slowly fly away from the earth. Next, let's import a recorded video into Vidipop Vlogger. Use rewind function to rewind the video from zoom out to zoom in. Then, at the end of the video, add our footage. And to better integrate the two videos, we can use a cloud clip and place it on the overlay track as a transition. This way, a flyover effect is complete. If you want to know more about the tutorial, click the link in the upper right to check it out. First, we need to prepare a video clip and a solid black image. 
Next, use text tool to create a text mask. You can use a thicker font to make it more effective. Then, take the screenshot and save the text mask. Next, drag the video clip into the video track and put a solid black image into the overlay track. And then use a motion edit to create a top to bottom mask like this. Similarly, we create a bottom to top mask. Next, we put a text mask image into the third overlay track and use a crop and a motion to synchronize it with the overlay track in size and movement. Finally, use ripple edit to shorten the duration of the overlay and add a fade out to make the text appear at the right time. If you want to see a more detailed tutorial, you can click the link to check it out. Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to learn more about other Ellen tricks or what has been going on with VideoPod Vlogger, be sure to click the subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.